Maccabeem Rishon, 1 Maccabees, chapter 11. And the king of Mitzrayim gathered together a great host, like the sand that lies upon the seashore, and many ships, and went about through deceit to get Alexander's kingdom, and join it to his own. Whereupon he took his journey into Spain in peaceable manner, so as they of the cities opened unto him, and met him, for King Alexander had commanded them to do so, because he was his brother-in-law. Now as Ptolemy entered into the cities, he set in every one of them a garrison of soldiers to keep it. And when he came near to Ashdod, they showed him the temple of Dagon that was burnt, and Ashdod and the suburbs thereof that were destroyed, and the bodies that were cast abroad, and them that he had burnt in battle. For they had made heaps of them by the way where he should pass. Also they told the king whatsoever Jonathan had done, to the intent he might blame him, but the king held his peace. When Jonathan met the king with great pomp at Yafo, where they saluted one another and lodged, afterward Jonathan, when he had gone into the king, had gone with the king to the river called Eleutherus, returned again to Jerusalem. King Ptolemy, therefore, having gotten the dominion of the cities by the sea unto Seleucia upon the sea coast, imagined wicked counsels against Alexander. Whereupon he sent ambassadors unto King Demetrius, saying, Come, let us make a league betwixt us, and I will give you my daughter whom Alexander has, and you shall reign in your father's kingdom. For I repent that I gave my daughter unto him, for he sought to slay me. Thus did he slander him, because he was desirous of his kingdom. Wherefore he took his daughter from him, and gave her to Demetrius, and forsook Alexander, so that their hatred was openly known. Then Ptolemy entered into Antioch, where he set two crowns upon his head, the crown of Asia and of Mitzrayim. And in the mean season was King Alexander in Cilicia, because those that dwelt in those parts had revolted from him. But when Alexander heard of this, he came to war against him, whereupon King Ptolemy brought forth his host and met him with a mighty power and put him to flight. So Alexander fled into Arav, there to be defended, but King Ptolemy was exalted. For Zavdiel the Aravi took off Alexander's head and sent it unto Ptolemy. King Ptolemy also died the third day after. And they that were in the strongholds were slain of another. By this means Demetrius reigned in the hundred threescore and seventh year. At the same time, Jonathan gathered together them that were in Yehuda to take the tower that was in Jerusalem, and he made many engines of war against it. Then came wicked persons who hated their own people, went unto the king and told him that Jonathan besieged the tower. Whereof when he heard, he was angry, and immediately removing, he came to Echo and wrote unto Jonathan that he should not lay siege to the tower, but come and speak with him at Yako, at Echo in great haste. Nevertheless, Jonathan, when he heard this, commanded to besiege it still, and he chose certain of the elders of Yasharel and the priest, and put himself in peril. And he took silver and gold and raiment and diverse presents beside, and went to Acho unto the king, where he found favor in his sight. And though certain wicked men of the people had made complaints against him, yet the king entreated him as his predecessors had done before, and promoted him in the sight of all his friends, and confirmed him in the high priesthood, and in all the honors that he had before, and gave him preeminence among his chief friends. Then Jonathan desired the king that he should make Yehuda free from tribute, as also the three governments with the country of Shomeron, and he promised him three hundred talents. So the king consented, and wrote Sepharim unto Jonathan of all these things after this manner. King Demetrius unto his brother Jonathan, 
and unto the nation of the Yahudim sends greeting. We send you here a copy of the Sefer, which we did write unto our cousin Lasthenes concerning you, that ye might see it. King Demetrius unto his father Lasthenes sends greetings. We are determined to do good to the people of the Yahudim, who are our friends and keep covenants with us because of their good will towards us. Wherefore we have ratified unto them the borders of Yehuda with the three governments of Africa and Lod and Rama that are added unto Yehuda from the country of Shomeron and all things appertaining unto them. For all such as do sacrifice in Yerushalayim, instead of the payments which the king received of them yearly aforetime out of the fruits of the earth and of trees, and as for other things that belong unto us, of the tithes and customs pertaining unto us, and also the salt pits and the crown taxes which are due unto us, we discharge them of we discharge them of them all for their relief. And nothing thereof shall be revoked from this time forth forever. Now therefore see that you make a copy of these things, and let it be delivered unto Jonathan and set upon the holy mount in a conspicuous place. After this, when King Demetrius saw that the land was quiet before him and that no resistance was made against him, he sent away all his forces, every one to his own place, except certain bands of strangers whom he had gathered from the isles of the heathen, wherefore all the forces of his fathers hated him. Moreover, there was one Tryphon that had been of Alexander's part of four, who seeing that all the host murmured against Demetrius, went to Simalcu, the Aravim, that brought up Antiochus, the young son of Alexander, and lay sore upon him to deliver him this young Antiochus, that he might reign in his father's stead. He told him, therefore, all that Demetrius had done, and how his men of war were at enmity with him, and there he remained a long season. In the meantime, Yonatan sent unto King Demetrius that he would cast those of the tower out of Jerusalem, and those also in the fortresses, that for they fought against Yasharel. So Demetrius sent unto Yonatan, saying, I will not only do this for you and your people, but I will greatly honor you and your nation if opportunity serve. Now therefore you shall do well, if you send me men to help me, for all my forces are gone from me. Upon this, Jonathan sent him three thousand strong men unto Antioch. When they came to the king, the king was very glad of their coming. Howbeit, they that were of the city gathered themselves together into the midst of the city, to the number of a hundred and twenty thousand men, and would have slain the king. Wherefore the king fled into the court, but they of the city kept the passages of the city and began to fight. Then the king called to the Yahudim for help, who came unto him all at once, and dispersing themselves through the city, slew that day in the city to the number of a hundred thousand. Also they set fire on the city, and got many spoils that day, and delivered the king. So when they of the city saw that the Yahudim had got the city as they would, their courage was abated, wherefore they made supplication to the king and cried, saying, Grant us peace, and let the Yahudim cease from assaulting us in the city. With that, they cast away their weapons and made peace, and the Yahudim were honored in the sight of the king, and in the sight of all that were in his realm. And they returned to Jerusalem, having great spoils. So King Demetrius sat on the throne of his kingdom, and the land was quiet before him. Nevertheless, he dissembled in all that ever he spoke, and estranged himself from Jonathan, neither rewarded him according to the benefits which he had received of him, but troubled him very sore. After this returned Tryphon, and with him the young child Antiochus, who reigned and was crowned. Then there gathered unto him all the men of war whom Demetrius had put away, and they fought against Demetrius, who turned his back and fled. Moreover, Tryphon took the elephants and won Antioch. 
At that time, young Antiochus wrote unto Jonathan, saying, I confirm you in the high priesthood, and appoint you ruler over the four governments, and to be one of the king's friends. Upon this, he sent him golden vessels to be served in, and gave him leave to drink in gold, and to be clothed in purple, and to wear a golden buckle. His brother Shimon also he made captain from the place called the Ladder of Sor unto the borders of Mitzrayim. Then Jonathan went forth and passed through the cities beyond the water, and all the forces of Aram gathered themselves unto him for, help, for to help him. And when he came to Ashkelon, they of the city met him honorably. From whence he went to Gaza, but they of Gaza shut him out, wherefore he laid siege unto it, and burned the suburbs thereof with fire, and spoiled them. Afterward, when they of Gaza made supplication unto Jonathan, he made peace with them, and took the sons of their chief men for hostages, and sent them to Jerusalem, and passed through the country into Damascus. Now when Jonathan heard that Demetrius' princes were come to Kadesh, which is in Galil, with great power, purposing to remove him out of the country, he went to meet them, and left Shimon his brother in the country. Then Shimon encamped against Beit Surah, and fought against it a long season, and shut it up. But they desired to have peace with him, which he granted them, and then put them out from thence, and took the city, and set a garrison in it. As for Jonathan and his host, they pitched at the water of Kinnera, from whence early in the morning they got them to the plain of, of Chatzor. And behold, the host of strangers met them in the plain, who, having laid men in ambush for him in the mountains, came themselves over against him. So when they that lay in ambush rose out of their places and joined battle, all that were in Jonathan's side fled. So much so that there was not one left, not one of them left, except Matityahu, the son of Absalom, and Yehuda, the son of Calphi, the captain of the host. Then Jonathan rent his clothes and cast earth upon his head and prayed. Afterwards, turning again to battle, he put them to flight, and so they ran away. Now when his own men that were fled saw this, they turned again unto him, and with him pursued them to Kadesh, even unto their own tents, and there they camped. So there were slain of the heathen that day about three thousand men, but Jonathan returned to Jerusalem.